What it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight team, stand up. Word around the town, word around the street. FTC brothers and sisters, let me know to check out NBA 2K's Twitter. I'm like, bro, what do I need to look at their Twitter for? I don't care about that damn game. We gonna be on it, of course. But, bro, I ain't trying to be looking at this news because you know they be capping every year. But it come to my thinking, these niggas didn't even, like, release, like, the they usually release, like, a ratings video or something. They are so lazy, bro. So we have to go to their Twitter. Apparently, 2K has dropped hella ratings over the past two days, and I didn't even know. So we here reacting to the readings like we do every single year, being as blunt as possible. We didn't get invited to Community Day. I heard that they had two communities. They had another community like a couple of weeks ago, apparently, quote-unquote. And they're about to have another one before the game launches a week prior, apparently. And I have not been invited. I don't understand what am I doing wrong. Um, so anyway, man, let's start off here. We got Murray and Jamal at a solid 88. I'm not going to lie to you. This is an L already off the bat. We haven't even started. We just started. Um, he just won a championship with Jokic. Murray came back from a literal career-ending injury. He has to be a 92-plus at least, bro. Come on. 88 overall, 2K. That ain't it. What, what, what? You see, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna click on the Twitter comments because this is getting uploaded to the tube. Sometimes y'all be dropping some random mission there. You know what I'm saying? I don't got time to do all that editing, baby. We got Brown and Jalen at an 89. I feel like this is fair. He had that disappointing uh, Eastern Conference uh, semis or conference finals, whatever you call it, against the Heat. Um, he had some crucial turnovers. A lot of people were saying that he can't use his left hand. But that does not mean he's not a great player. Um, I think 89 is pretty fair. I think uh, Brown and Jalen should definitely have a lot more to prove. This can easily be bumped up uh, higher, too. I could definitely see it um, within the first two months of the NBA season. He got a fat new contract, so he has a lot, you know what I'm saying, uh, more motivation to even play harder for. So, you know what I'm saying? So, I think he's going to be uh, pretty solid there. SGA, 93! Woo! This is much deserved, bro. This is much deserved. I'm actually honestly surprised that 2K didn't take the super, super glaze route and give him a 96. But, bro, he deserves a 91 plus, 105%. SGA averaged 30 plus points per game last season, man. Went absolutely bananas, man. This dude is an official um, uh, NBA superstar. Um, I can see him being a fit, one of the faces of the NBA in the next two years, three years, you know what I'm saying, especially when more of the OGs start to retire and everything. You got Mitch Ladonovan at a 92. This is pretty solid. I ain't going to lie that much, too much to say about the spider. He got a new team. Um, I like him being on the Cavs versus when he was with the Jazz. He looks like he's a lot more happier with the Cavs and everything like that. Uh, we have Victor Whip Bananas. Um, he's with Ronald 2K. Uh, Ronald uh, is being a uh, groupie as usual. Um, is audio to this? Tell the people, I don't know yet. Woo! Right Victor Whip Bananas! I don't know. 84 overall. What do y'all got to say about that? I personally think that he should be an 88. I ain't gonna lie. That's an L2K for giving him that low of a rating, bro. The fact that this guy right here is already the top 10 NBA player of all time. I've already told him that, told you guys that he's a top five center automatically. Just by the way he played in the summer league. You can tell that this dude is literally a generational talent. Um, so not much to say. I think he's going to get his overall up. Same similar situation to the, um, who I was talking about earlier, uh, Brown and Jalen. Um, he's, he, this thing, I think this is going to be up to a 90 year overall before 2023 is up. Uh, this is way too low 2k. This is an L to be honest with you. Uh, Victor wet bananas. You know what I'm saying? 84 overall. Let's see how his graphic card is looking like. Not too bad. Not too bad. Nobody cares about the graphics. We care about that gameplay. We got a gun ball sitting at that. What's his rating? Maybe it might be further down. Who knows? Okay, so we got a quick little thing right here. Let's show him more of the players' ratings. Maybe saving us time. We're still going to scroll down more and you get to the last screenshot, whatever. Uh, this is the last screenshot. So here's, uh, we just happen to see this going, scrolling down from Twitter, live in a full effect. The top players in 2K is Jokic at 98 overall. Where is... Curry is at a 96 overall 2K. This is the greatest NBA player of all time, the greatest shooter of all time. I respect Jokic being a 98. He deserves it. But you have to have Curry in the same category, bro. A matter of fact, you have to have LeBron in the same category. If we're being fair, this is kind of favoritism in a little bit. Just a little bit, 2K. LeBron, 
Curry need to be at least a 97 at least. Not no 96. Two overalls down is a huge difference. 98 is... that That's kind of crazy separating that versus a 96. When you have two of the biggest faces in not only sports, but literally like the top 10 like biggest faces in the damn world. Like, you can't have them sitting low, low like that, man. Come on. Come on, 2K. This ain't it right here, man. This ain't it. You have to have... I, you know, like, even the people are probably going to be surprised. Bro, like, yeah, I'm giving credit for it. LeBron got to be at a 98, too. You know what I'm saying? And really, in my alternate reality, on certain toxic days, Curry deserves a 99. I don't even think... I think Curry should be the number one player to play with on 2K. Let's be honest. The average person that's playing 2K, they are going to pick, especially if they're like a casual gamer, they don't be playing Park or my team like that. They just like a 20 to 30 minute get on the game, off the game for a couple of days. You know what I'm saying? When I can type of gamer. Like, they're picking the Warriors or they're picking the Lakers first. Let's be honest, bro. This is pathetic of 2K to stoop this low. This is another L ratings once again, man. This is like, man, Ronald and Mike Wayne, y'all, y'all just outdo yourself every single year. And at this point, I just want to think. I think it's, it's, it's are y'all trolling at this point, man? Or just wait for my reactions or something? <laughs> a Kunko's pretty fine where he's at. That's a solid overall at ninety six, especially you know, uh, you know the pre uh, the, the playoffs. Uh, the Bucks had that. You know what I'm saying? Um, they came up short a little bit and everything like that. Um, and being a Joel, same situation as a Kunko. 96, I think, isn't too bad. I'm actually surprised that 2K showed love to KD. I'm not going to lie to you. Because, like, KD did have some injuries this year. He was out. To me, KD's a 97. 100%. But with the way that Glazing 2K does and everything like that, they're unpredictable. So I'm actually surprised that you actually gave him a fair rating. You know what I'm saying? But to really say that KD is in the same category as Curry, come on. Like, we don't even have to argue that. That's why Curry and LeBron have to be higher overall. Sitting them at a 96 isn't going to cut it. You know what I'm saying? I could definitely see both of their overalls going up maybe to a 97. No, not maybe. They have to go up to a 97 when the NBA season starts. Come on, 2K. Do something better than that, man. Donakic's rating is fine. Tatum and Jason's rating is fine. Butler and Jimmy, I'm actually surprised that. Nah! In the playoffs, he does play a little bit different, so you have to give credit for where it's due. And that's where everything matters at the end of the day. Because Butler and Jimmy is like, what, a 17, 19 point per game average during the regular season. But in the playoffs, he's like a 25 plus. So I think a 95 is pretty fair. Kawhi, I'm another one surprised. See, me, Kawhi deserves a 96. But the fact that 2K gave Kawhi his credit still despite his injuries and everything like that. And just knows that Kawhi is still him. You know what I'm saying? I like that right there. Booker and Devin's fine where he's at. He needs to be a 91, actually. No, nah, I ain't going to lie. Booker or Devin is a little bit too high, bro. Every single season, he flops in the playoffs. There's nothing that he proves different than he did the last past three or four seasons. He needs to be a 91 in Lord until he improves in the playoffs. And now that you have an actual mega superstar team, come on. Dame Dollar's pretty fine where he's at. I'm actually surprised he isn't maybe a 95, maybe in the same level as Donna Kick and Tatum. I don't think Tatum is better than Lillard. This is insane. And Butler and Jimmy? No way. No way you saying that. Is there any more to this? This is one of the more controversial ratings in a, in a minute. I ain't going to hold you. Where We just looked at Booker's rating, but you can see his screenshot and everything like that. I don't have nothing to say about the graphics of 2K. 2K always comes up with the graphics. They're always 10 out of 10 every single year with the graphics. The gameplay is always around the 3 to 5, maybe 5.5 out of 10s the last two years of 2k uh, so y'all need to step it up in the gameplay way we're waiting for that official trailer they said they're dropping something on the 14th i believe um here's tatum adjacent screenshot you got the veins popping out of the neck donna kick screenshot you got a WNBA player i like this you got a 90 overall uh sabrina inescu i like the uh you know showing WNBA love WNBA is important as well um are they gonna, are they gonna have that same features as last year anything uh upgraded from that one or two kids get announced that. You got a Kunkpo screenshot right here. And they're not doing too bad with screenshots. And the KDs is like, eh. Look at Curry, man. Got Curry as a 96. Uh, needs to be higher, though. I just don't like that, man. He needs to be a 98. Got LeBron at a day, uh, 96. Has to be higher than that. You got a B to Joel screenshot. Jockages. All right, and I think that's going to probably do it on all the other ratings. You got LeBron to the screenshot right there. 
what do y'all have to say about the ratings, man? Um, I personally think that they have to do a lot better than this. Uh, but are you surprised? They always do this every single year, man, and they always have something of these ratings that make you just want to, like, scream. So, hey, man, comment down below. What do y'all think players' ratings deserve truly?